Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so it begins. I hope this works out. Me too. I just fuck. So we're in Miami, bitch. Been here for 24 hours, we came straight from Mexico, and things are already going wrong. So we literally didn't have any time to digest from Mexico at all. Actually, we didn't even land in Miami without something going wrong with you. Yes. Yep. 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 I was on the fucking plane. And Don't my play. eardrum ruptured. And y'all know I have ruptured my eardrum three times now. Bruh. And it has finally happened to someone else. I am not an overdramatic person at all, but it felt like my ear was on fire. Once we got here, we checked into the Airbnb, slept for a few hours. I didn't sleep at all the you night didn't before. didn't sleep? No. Oh, oh. We didn't go anywhere last night. Well, Sarah went somewhere. After after we woke up from her naps, I was like, I should go to an urgent care. <laughs> Do you want to tell them what they found in your ear? <sighs> yeah. They had to drain my ear out, mm -hmm. and um, what they found was just a lot of fucking sand. So much sand, it was disgusting. And the sand was like getting tangled in with dead skin in my ear and like earwax. It just built up to this like giant ball of shit. <laughs> And Gross. got it all out, but my ear was still plugged up, yep. and it's infected. That's disgusting. <laughs> I was on the beach two times for 30 minutes each, and I got an ear infected. So that happened. Then today, we didn't wake up till like 2.30. 3 o'clock ish. Yeah. She had to immediately go to CVS, get her medicine, then realized she didn't have any outfits for this weekend, so we've been shopping for the past two hours. Now it is 6.30, and we have to get ready to see Harry Styles and Pitbull back to back tonight. I'm gonna lose my fucking goddamn mind! Oh my god! We are probably one of like the only two, maybe the only two humans that will ever in their entire lives see Harry Styles and Pipple immediately after. Like that's unheard of. This just like happened because we're going to Shaquille O'Neal's Super Bowl party <laughs> right after. Just Harry's. that sentence. Like what is that? I, real. guys, I just remember before Mexico, I was like, hey Sarah, you know what sounds fun? All she said was just like, Sarah, I have a crazy idea. And I was like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> Like, what if we just, instead of booking our flights back home, we should tell them to change it to Miami? And I was like, huh? And I was like, it's Super Bowl weekend. And it like, sounds like a lot of fun. At first I was like, mm. But then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna push myself mm -hmm. and go for it. We're in this situation now. We're in for some shit. Guys, I just want to meet Pitbull so badly tonight. Like, I would love to meet Harry, but I know it's just, it'll never happen in my life. But tonight, if there's one thing that I can do, I fucking hope to God it's get a picture with Pitbull. Here's our schedule for the night now. We have to <laughs> Uber to Shaquille O'Neal's party at 9 o'clock. Go pick up our passes and shit. Then Uber from Shaquille O'Neal's to Harry Styles because... <sighs> Fuck, like, what am I saying right now? Go to Harry Styles. God knows what time he goes on stage. We're supposed to be at Shaquille's by 11, but of course we message them and we're like, hey, we have something else to be at before. We might get there a little late. Is that okay? Now we have someone escorting us into the party because we're getting there late because we're going to be at Harry Styles. Like, we're already fucking causing chaos. We have to leave Harry by, like, 11.45, no matter how long he's been on stage or not, because Pitbull goes on stage at 12.20. So, tonight is a disaster. I can't wait to hear from Drunk Me later when she's handling all this. Like, God fucking damn it. I'm just gonna let everything unfold and everything happen for itself. But as of right now, I need to go transform myself from like a two and a half to hopefully an eight. Let's do that because we have like two hours before we have to fucking start Super Bowl weekend in Miami. Night one. I will drink my purified water with electrolytes to that. You know the roof on fire. Holy shit, we're so late, it's 9.20. I just got a notification that our lift is here. Fucking look at this bitch. You look incredible, guys. I gotta wear heels too. I can't believe I'm wearing heels. Oh my God, you look so hot. Wow, I'm about to see Pibble and Harry Styles. Yes, oh my God, yes. That was literally way easier than I thought it was gonna be. We already got our wristbands and Harry's is only 10 minutes away from where we are right now. Dude. Beautiful timing. Now we're going to Harry. Now we're, we're going, going to Harry. Harry. Enjoy it. Hey, yeah. Knowing that we already have our fucking wristbands. Yes. Here we come, Harry. Here we come, Harry. Harry. We'll see you soon, bro. God. Uh, I literally can't believe this. I can't believe this. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. <gasps>
bruh. What do you have to say bruh. to this, bruh? bruh. We <laughs> really thought it was gonna be in the zoo. Or like in the jungle. No, no, literally when this show first got announced, we thought we were gonna be shuttled on a boat to an <laughs> island for this. Literally, yeah. Like why? We were like, oh, it's gonna be in the middle of the jungle. That sounds about right. Like literally we thought it's that there was gonna be right animals there. walking around. It's the Pepsi budget, like they're gonna do something. They huge. got flamingos. They have flamingos and elephants. Dude, I literally thought the show was at a zoo. Why did we think that? Because well, that's what Amanda said. Amanda said the jungle island was a zoo. So maybe there's a zoo. Here. When I typed in Jungle Island on Google, the first thing I saw were flamingos. I'm like, oh, yep, we're going to Rota. They're gonna. No, this like, is just like a regular it's venue. Like literally a venue. I love that we have like the childlike imagination. Yeah, like we like, got creative with this. We shit. got creative. I was like, oh yeah, he rented out the whole island. That's what I was picturing in my head on a stage in the middle of the forest. Dude, we thought we were gonna be shuttled on a boat. Yeah. The show, and you that we'd be what? stuck on the island, unable to get to Shaquille O'Neal's. Yes. Park. That's what we thought. That's but that what was we also our worst case scenario shit, but also best case scenario. Shit. Yeah. I just shouldn't be allowed to think. I just, clearly, me too. Because <laughs> that is not correct. Here we are, yo! Alright, damn! I'm like shot and they get better over time. So you know. Heard you say I'm not the baddest, but you lie. It ain't my fault. So it ended up taking us two hours to get off the island and go over the connecting bridge when our Airbnb normally is five minutes away. I mean, as you can see, Miami was just a straight up flood at this point and it was actually horrifying. We had been waiting in the venue for a while at first for an Uber since it was almost impossible to get one since everyone was trying to call one to the island at once. And we would have been stuck there all night long if it weren't for these two fans of ours and their sweet mom, Pam, that offered to drive us home, which we are so grateful and thankful and honestly just feel so undeserving of. But we got in their car and just hung out in the standstill flood traffic for a few hours together just checking Twitter making sure people are okay and getting updates on the whole entire situation the whole thing was really stressful honestly and I cried like the entire car ride home the only time I think I laughed for even three seconds was when Sarah ran out of the car on the side of the road and peed in a bush so thank you for that quick entertainment Sarah we all really needed that after uh you know uh not seeing Harry Styles okay. wow Thank God. <laughs> By the time we got to the Airbnb, we had completely missed Pipple's set and Shaq's entire party. So, uh, Sarah and I had a few things to say about this whole situation. I'm cold and I'm sad. And I'm miserable. And I'm miserable. miserable. I don't even know what to say about the fans that just drove us home right now, guys. They, like, that's Pam? the only good thing about right now. I can't believe that they were there for us in that moment. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. I literally cannot believe this. I literally can't believe this. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm so upset. I don't even want to make the best of this right now. Because because tonight was supposed to be the best. I didn't even see or get to do any of the things I came here for. Because 
because it was all out of our control. Like, it's not yeah, like fucked no. up. I know, and that's shocking. That's it's shocking. shocking. Yeah. It's not like me and Caitlin were too late or, or too drunk, too drunk. Oh, whatever. Out. It's, it's like, like it was just we got weather. We and Gronks is gonna get canceled tomorrow too. We came here for these three events and all. Like, what are we gonna do? And it's raining. Can't come to the beach. We don't know if Gronks is canceled tomorrow. Hey, did you look at the weather? The storm got moved up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do with this fucking apartment until hey. Tuesday? It's Friday. Oh, <laughs> it's Friday. I've never worn a skirt and high heels in my life in like lingerie. And you and wore this for hair and simple. Before we left tonight, we were like, tonight is going to be the best night. The best But night. in my gut, I was like, I don't feel right about this. So literally it's kind of just, too good to be true. But then when we got into the venue at Harry's, I, I was, was like, like okay, yeah, mm -hmm. it's happening, yeah. okay? It's flooding outside, so I can't even order a pizza. And my shoes are rotting. Why did this night go to shit? What do we do? Karma, universe, tell us. Tell us what we did wrong. So what I think that we could do is play Club Penguin for the weekend. <laughs> You know what? We can play club betting when you ask. That shit just happens and you can't control it, which is shitty. Like, I wish that there was a better excuse, but there just isn't, and that's what's more frustrating. There's just nothing that we can blame it on. I'm gonna eat this bagel and talk to y'all in the morning and let you know how I feel then. Good I'm night. trying to have Caitlin think positively, but we'll see how that ends up. <laughs> I mean, I just threw up my favorite pair of heels, so it's gonna take a minute. I'll work on it. Y'all know me. I'll work on it. Dude, I didn't get to see Pitbull. That, yeah, that's, so, that's awesome saying out loud. <laughs> like, just awesome. Awesome. Cool. But like Rory said, Pitbull ain't going anywhere. Guys, Rory did text me that. He literally said verbatim, Mr. 305 ain't going nowhere. It's true. It is. If SeatGeek sees this, this is a cry for help. We need y'all more than ever. We need Pitbull tickets together. Did I accidentally hit the panic button? How do I turn it off? Panic button? Bro, there's a pan- oh fuck, dude. You did not push the no, panic button. No, I did. It's beeping. I just actually- Bro! How do I turn it off? What do we do? Um, push it again? Why did you- Why did you- No, I didn't know there was a- a big blue button that says panic and you pushed it. Why? I said, I didn't. Why did you push it? I didn't know this was a control box. Oh my god, what does that even mean? But, 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 I'm just curious well, went, why your brain. I went like this. I went oh, like this. So, so I clicked like oh, all of it. Oh, okay, okay. It's 4.30 in the morning and we're still screaming about this. Here we are on Twitter doing hashtag Shaq's Funhouse video. All the clips of people there. <laughs> crying. <laughs> crying. <laughs> and I was bawling our eyes out at people's speech about Kobe Bryant. We were supposed to be there. That ass. <laughs> We've been promoting and talking about this Funhouse bullshit for weeks. And we didn't even show up. Didn't go to it once. Like, dead ass, <laughs> are you kidding? This was our moment. We were robbed. Robbed. We were robbed. We are good, wholesome people. We do everything correct. We don't bother anyone. The two interests that we have. We both have, like, so passionately. Passionately. <laughs> Bro, we were wearing pimple matching shirts at the beginning of this video. Like, oh my god, this is all we wanted. Oh, we live for and that shit was just <laughs> taken off. Someone pulled the motherfucking plug on that bed. For both things! A fucking flood out of nowhere! Out of every night. Why tonight? If we could turn back time <laughs> to the better days, cause fuck this shit. I wanna see Harry Pitbull. I haven't vlogged anything since this morning at 5 in the morning when we were crying. Oh, yeah. Yep, so um, here's the update. We literally sat in this apartment all day long and watched Camp Rock and Camp Rock 2. I made us feel a little better. Yeah, looking at Kevin Jonas did a lot. We just weren't really in the best mood. I mean, I woke up like today even more sad than I was last night. That was just such an L. Whatever, we're moving on. Still trying to make the best of this. Obviously, we're in Miami Super Bowl weekend, but kind of took a second to figure out where to go from here because we missed officially all three events. <laughs>
what we came here for. We didn't even bother going to Gronk's Beach today because it was raining until like four in the afternoon and obviously it was outside on a beach. We officially wasted our time promoting for two events. Looking forward to them and literally didn't go to them. I feel like a clown. I feel like a clown. <laughs> Emoji over your face. Yeah, the rumors are true. I'm a fucking clown. We were gonna go to this festival called Utopia and see the baby Migos and Cardi B tonight because I got a text from one girl saying that she could get me and Sarah backstage. So I was like, fuck yeah. Then 30 minutes after that, I got a DM on Instagram from another girl who said that she got invited to the Rolling Stones party tonight by her sugar daddy, <laughs> but she's too scared to go alone and wants me to go. So I was like, Rolling Stones, potentially Harry. I'm fucking there. Before I continue this, I just need you to understand that we thought we had gotten invited to the Rolling Stones the band party, okay? Like Mick Jagger, not the magazine. We thought we were going to see the literal Rolling Stones. Why we thought that? I don't know. I need you to just listen to everything that we say with this in mind, knowing that we were going into the night with this in mind. Just listen to us talk with how dumb we are in mind, because we are dumb. So now that's what we're getting ready for. We're gonna go meet some random girl and escort her to the Rolling Stones party <laughs> with her sugar daddy that she's never met. Does this sound dangerous? Absolutely. Am I gonna do it anyways? Absolutely. That's the game plan for now. I'm on a mission to have a good night tonight, so. It is now Saturday of Super Bowl weekend and I've partied no times. I hope this vlog gets climactic soon, so. Cheers to this girl that I don't know yet and her sugar daddy. To the Rolling Stones we go. <laughs> Hi. Please God. <laughs> it's me. It's us. And this is not what we deserve. Yeah. And Two hours later, I'm still in the same chair. According to my weather forecast, the sugar daddy has ditched our new friend. So, some typical sugar daddy shit, they're sketchy. Now we also just found out Harry might've just gone home to LA, so that sucks. Great news. Yeah, <laughs> awesome news. I'm uh, not too sure what to do now. I'm figuring this shit out, I'm pissed. It is almost midnight and we are on our way to Basil's table at the Rolling we Stones don't party. Know <laughs> no, we don't. We don't know him at all. But apparently he has a table there. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend we're with him and oh see God. if we can get his <laughs> the bullshit that we went through tonight. I gotta heat up another piece of pizza before I cry. How do I explain that I took you to a strip club to like- Bruh, I was crying my eyes out at a She strip was club. crying at a strip club. Why? That's what I I'm saying. To go home. She had us in a dangerous situation. I did not. You sure as fuck did. Those men could have killed us. Listen Bruh. to me. All right. <laughs> so we went to this club called the Eleven Club, and we went into the one of the girls, and then we were like, "How long have you guys been waiting in this club?" And she was like, "Oh, we've been waiting for like two and a half hours." And we're like, "There's no way we're waiting in this line." So we were like, "Let's just go home." So we go up to a taxi, and we're like, "Okay, we're gonna go home." And then this random man came up to us. No random men. Men. Random girls. They seemed chill. They came up to me and was like. Like, are y'all trying to party? Me and Caitlin were drunk just trying to party. That was our whole goal. And we were like, yes, we're trying to party. 
Red flag, 100%. They were literally like in their mid 20s. They seemed chill. They were like besties. And that's how you die. And you know what? That's how you that, die. All right, blame it on me. In the end, it was chill. They were kind. Okay, at the end, but yes. They took us to a wholesome strip club. Is the word. <laughs> it was so hard because we went into the strip club, right? And one of my fans was a stripper. <laughs> one of my fans was on the stripper pole and recognized me. She comes up to me and she goes, Is that Sarah Baska? And I go, Oh, she was so hot and like she did amazing. Oh my god, I'm like throwing money on her and Kaylin is crying next to me. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what to do because like I love Caitlyn. I need to get Caitlyn out of the situation. She's like my little sister. But also, I got a fan. The second Paris Hilton went on stage tonight to DJ, my night went down. Yep. <laughs> like that's really where it went wrong. Like Paris Hilton got on stage and I started crying from there on out. And it's like, oh, Paris Hilton the DJ, but then she hits one button. It's the equivalent play. of me pressing the Spotify button. Like play. it's literally you just playing play on your Spotify playlist. <laughs> and then her just like dancing. Hold on, hold on. We thought we were at a Rolling Stones oh, concert. Oh, we thought Mick Jagger was literally about to come out. We're walking around this party asking everyone, what time does Mick Jagger get on stage? And everyone literally is laughing in our faces being like, what are you talking about? Like Mick Jagger's not. <laughs> they laughed in our face. They're like, he's literally 75 years old. You really think he's about to come on stage and rip that guitar right now? I could only fucking hope. Everyone laughed at us. We looked for a lineup online to see what time Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. And then we were like, oh, Harry Styles must be here. <laughs> Every Jack. rich man that came up to me and Caitlin, like trying to like, you know, flirt with us, we, we were like, hi, thank you so much. But like, when is thank Mick Jagger you, thank coming Thank you for stage? whatever you're offering us, but when is Mick Jagger? And then they were like, oh no, but like, what are you guys here for? We're like, oh, we're here for the Super Bowl. And then they were like, oh, do you guys have Super Bowl tickets? And we'd be like, Rory, no. I showed at least eight old men that I was wearing a Patriots bracelet to show ah, them that I was worthy of going bro. to the Super Bowl. I told so many old men, I was like, my dad played in the Super Bowl in like 77. He did So though. I deserve to go to this Super Bowl. So like, can you like hook me up with some tickets? Didn't even happen at all. Like I thought putting on this bracelet was gonna get me to the Super Bowl. <laughs> we are clowns. <laughs> We, bro, bruh. I won't fuck someone to go to the Super Bowl. I'll wait like eight years until I can afford it. I'll get there. We tried so hard without crossing the line tonight, and honestly, I think we did an amazing job. <laughs> we ended up at a strip club. How was that an amazing job? But we did great. Yeah, last night fucking sucked dick, but tonight kind of made up for it, and I feel like tomorrow- We're on a steady incline. <laughs> <laughs> We're going skiing backwards. Tomorrow night is gonna be a great night. Yes. Yeah, yeah. no, maybe. <laughs> Ridiculous up next to the store. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my this is God. not even a real <laughs> pathway. <Hello. laughs> oh my God. Literally, bitch. <laughs> Didn't vlog anything at the Super Bowl party, but here's us leaving it. And here's the view. Like, here's bruh. Here's the home that we randomly owned up at. <laughs> like, in our pimple shirts, like, getting harassed all night. All we, Amanda night. Amanda was like, oh, guys, don't worry. It's going to be a chill little get together. <laughs> and we're like, okay, great. We don't have to, like, try, you know? And oh. this was, like, the first time we were like, okay, stress free. We don't have to, like, get ready for anything. Yeah. Like, there's going to be. This is the one thing we that we should have looked ready. good at. We the in, sugar daddies, like, the NFL sugar, players, uh, in suits. and we fucked up, and we fucked up. Just like, show them look, this. Look at even us walking this out of is, here. This is the like, entrance. Guys, I couldn't even film in there because I was like, 
I just don't want to be that bitch with my phone out right now. But like, damn, that was a fucking mansion if I, I had tried ever been in one. one. I try. I like set my phone up for a little bit. Oh no, like that footage is gonna be great. But like, I wish I could do like a montage of the whole house. Like, oh. we did not deserve to be there in oh. our pit bull shirts walking out of this oh, gate, dude. Damn. How do we even get out of this, this is gate? The fucking front gate, bro. Bruh. I don't even know how to get out of it. I actually don't know how to get out of here like, either. Dead ass. How do we do this? To, to get out of this gate into our lift. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. So it looks like we are at the end of this nightmare after the super bowl we only had one more day left in miami and all we really did was just sleep and watch movies and go out to dinner again at that point we had kind of just really given up and we just didn't really want to do anything we'd had a really long week and a half at that point and i think we both were just ready to go home i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry that there wasn't too many climactic things in it i mean realistically half the video is just us complaining and trying to make the best of us complaining so i'm sorry if this wasn't the most entertaining thing but that's really all that happened i still want to say thank you to you guys though because without you guys we wouldn't have had these potential opportunities in the first place so thank you guys so much for just loving us and our content together we have so much fun doing this stuff together and i'm honestly just really bummed that i don't have the content that you guys were looking for because i know you guys were just as excited for this as we were so i'm disappointed in ourselves that we don't have what like you guys deserved because i know that you guys appreciate the content that we make together so much so i'm really sorry if this was not what you wanted but this is how that we weekend went so hey it happens sometimes you live and you learn you take the l you make the best of it you learn some lessons and you call it a day so that's all i can really say about that and also i just wanted to make a side note that sarah and i both tried to not really complain about the harry show that much in this video specifically just because we both had seen him at the forum recently and you know who am i to really sit here and just whine about the miami show that much if you're wondering why we talked about pitbull more than harry that's it we just didn't want to be those guys because no one wants to hear it from two girls who just went to the forum show so don't worry though me and sarah have a much better experience and trip and video coming out soon by the time this video is uploaded pay attention to our social medias because you will see this weekend what we are doing together that will hopefully be a much better vlog i will give you a hint vegas <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing that again so i hope that we get better content from there again for you guys but yeah i just wanted to say i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope everyone who went to the miami show is okay and got their refunds and i just hope everyone got back safely because at the end of the day that's what really matters when it comes to that night i love you guys so much i can't even explain it thank you for always being here for me especially when i've been going through it the past few months especially when it comes to uploading on youtube i will see you in my next video make sure to follow all my social media is at x caitlin peace out i love you pitbull if you see this i love you as well all right actually peace out now bye